nihilism. The conclusion that the universe doesn't have any intrinsic meaning. The logical, philosophical conclusion, philosophical position that on the premise of the, ep the epistemic question, epistemological question of some inherent or intrinsic meaning to the universe exists, it is the rejection of that it is the the logical conclusion that one would come to when there is insufficient evidence to warrant such a belief that there is some intrinsic inherent meaning or value in the universe I think a lot of people have a miss there's this misconception of what nihilism actually means A lot of people seem to conflate nihilism with depression or cynicism, which, you know, that's just not the case. Uh, the state that there isn't evidence, sufficient evidence to warrant the positive claim or assertion that the universe has an inherent meaning or value. So the, the next logical step to that, the logical conclusion is the universe doesn't have intrinsic meaning or intrinsic value. That's what nihilism is. That's it. Doesn't mean that, you know, it's not... It's not saying that it's not saying anything else other than that really to be honest I could stop right there that's that's literally it just because someone is a nihilist and they uh, are depressed or, or they have a cynical view of the world that those things are are separate right you know, they're not mutually exclusive. I don't, I don't know. It's just, that's, that's it. Now, whatever I have to say about, about the topic after that is just my own two cents. You know, it's my own personal opinion about what one could do with that information or if one reaches that conclusion but on the topic itself that's about it the, the logical conclusion that universe doesn't have any inherent intrinsic meaning or value now what a lot of people they take that conclusion to mean oh if, you know I have a cynical outlook on the world or you know just be a moral nihilist or, you know, just nothing matters and, uh, you know, do a bunch of hedonistic or uh, bad things or something that would be considered immoral depending on your morals and ethics. And some people, uh, they find the notion that there's no intrinsic value in existence or there's no intrinsic meaning or purpose in uh, the universe, they find that depressing. Me personally, I find it liberating. I find it quite liberating. So, you know, when you have this type of uh, religious uh, uh, worldview, basically you have this, this arbiter of, of everything, the arbiter of the cosmos, God or whatever you would call that in whatever your belief system is, 
And this, this figure, this entity, this agent dictates the meaning and the purpose and the value of everything. So basically, your worth and the, the worth and, and value on your life is determined by this being, this agent. And, you know, when I come, when I come to the conclusion that nihilism seems to be uh, the rationally justified conclusion, you know, that's the most liberating thing to me, I would have to say, because with that being said, it leaves it open. It's open-ended. That means I get to imbue my life with value. I get to, uh, you get to imbue your own life with value. Things that you value, people, uh, you know, learning, whatever the case may be for you personally, individually. Uh, you're not at the whim of some omnipotent, omniscient being dictating and telling you what to value, you know, what to value morally, what to value you know, in every way, in every aspect. I just don't really find that to be a very, uh, a very thought-provoking concept, you know being told what to do, being told what to think, how to think, being told not to question things, uh, being told what's true and what's not true, as opposed to analyzing the available data and information and determining whether or not you're justified in believing something and to what extent the, your, your confidence level in believing the, that thing. All of those things are open-ended. Even something like secular ethics, it's an open-ended thing. It's not just the simplistic uh, you know, doctrines or pronouncements uh, or commands, you know, Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That's just simple, you know. People want to have, you know, a simplistic rule code, set of rules, but it doesn't really work that way. Yeah, but, you know, when you have, when you accept the apparent reality that yeah there's no intrinsic inherent value or meaning or purpose in the universe and the cosmos and existence when you start with that conclusion it then provides I feel a a base or foundation to where if you actually do care about uh creating a set of morals or in ethics uh, then you actually have that open-ended freedom to where you can find something like the scientific method which is a invention but it it functions with the accuracy with accuracy that's pretty similar to a uh, to a discovery like logic or math and you take these methods and as you learn more and as you adjust your beliefs with the evidence your systems and your methods get better with time you know because you don't take that arrogance 
of assuming that you know everything and everything is a simple, you know, answer. Yeah, so the, the conclusion. The universe has no intrinsic meaning. That's nihilism. Now everything else is, you know, let's say for example, oh, now you get to make your own meaning if you want. That would be something like uh, existentialism or something of that nature. But that's another thing related to the topic, but not the topic nonetheless. You know, so it is kind of like I kind of like uh, compare it to like the on the question, the epistemic. Uh, question of some God exists, that claim, that belief claim, right? You're asked, some God exists, do you accept the claim or do you reject the claim? If you accept the claim, you're saying that you believe that some God exists. If you reject the claim, that's just saying you're not convinced. Just because you reject the claim doesn't mean that you accept the opposite. So if you reject the claim, some God exists, you're not making the claim that you believe that no God exists. You're simply rejecting the positive claim because in logic, we only work on the prongs of the syllogism is this it's a or not a you right so everything in existence that could ever possibly exist is either a or not a doesn't matter what it is you can literally make it up on the spot it's either a or not a that's how logic works that's the framework of logic which is a discovery so that means everything must follow those laws so yeah the universe doesn't have any intrinsic inherent meaning purpose or value because that would have to be demonstrated you would need an agent to imbue it with purpose or value and as far as I'm aware of there hasn't and this agent, an agent hasn't been uh, sufficiently uh, evidentiarily warranted to exist, to be able to imbue the universe with meaning, with an inherent meaning. But an individual can imbue their own life with meaning or not.